Peter, will uh, approach these yellow cones here at 30 kilometres an hour and break as hard as she can. Now, uh, where do you think at 30 kilometres an hour stopping here, where do you think she's going to stop? Far away. Can we have a vote on, say, here? No. No? Further? Here? Mark almost went straight ahead, even though he tried to turn the wheels, and he had to cut off the wheels yeah. turn. 
but because the, uh, they're locked up, they're not steering him as much as the Golf was, and he went almost straight ahead when he was stopping. So the, 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 uh, the, the information you take away from that is that the brakes are very useful. Um, they allow you to steer when you're braking hard, and uh, they have other benefits too, uh, such as in slippery conditions, they allow you to brake as hard as possible. Um, and they will uh, provide the shortest possible stopping distance because the, all the time the, the wheel is almost stopping then releasing then stopping then releasing at about 200 times a second. So it gives you the, uh, the minimum stopping distance on slippery surfaces like wet or snow or mud. Um, so if you can't get stability control in a vehicle, as I talked about earlier, at least try and get a vehicle with anti-lock brakes. Now we'd just like to do a little demonstration of the effect of uh, water on the road. So Mark's going to do a, just a normal uh, half stop at 40 kilometres an hour on a, a dry surface here. And then we'll put some water down and make it a bit more difficult. Okay, so that was 40k um, on, on a, a dry surface. So uh, uh, we'll do the same thing. Uh, Let's uh, switch we'll just mark where the, the water creates a thing between the um, tires and, and the tires. Uh, then we'll uh, give him a bit of wet yeah. on the track and see how he goes with that. Let's Let's push it into less grip. Because it's slippery. <laughs> Now this is a common occurrence, it does rain, despite what some people said in Um So you'll be quite often faced with a wet surface and the water on the surface reduces the, the coefficient of friction. So where do you think he's going to stop now? He stopped here before. So where would you advise him? Your best to make the stand this time. Over there. So there you go, um, much, much further than last time. Um, basically, the, because the, car, the wheels of the car were wet, the surface was wet, um, the brakes were really ineffective until he got onto the dry surface. So that's not going to happen on the, in real life, the road's going to be wet all the time. So the, the um, message from that is, in wet conditions, allow much more stopping distance um, and, or drop your speed, which is the same sort of thing. Uh, normally we advise a three second following distance from the vehicle in front, in other words you pick a point in front of you, when the vehicle in front of you goes past that, you count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and by that time you should have reached that point. In wet conditions allow six seconds, so count up to six. 